Okay, as everyone's eating the cheesecake in the kitchen, which is delicious, by the way, too, and talk about creamier and more flavor. It really did. That was really good. But Miss Thompson with me this morning, and she's here to talk about something taking place around Christmas time in Elkton. How are you? I am great. Good. I'm just so proud to be with you again today. I'm glad to have you with good. us. And Sorrel's going to be good for this one. So yeah. you, I know you're <laughs> glad of that. Now, we do have some photos here, too. First of all, tell us when it's going to be and what people can expect. Okay. This coming Sunday, which mm -hmm. is December the 11th, it is... Um, uh, from one to five, okay. Uh, and you do, we do have a special location that you can come and get your tickets. But I want to stress that when you see the pictures and and see the addresses, mm -hmm. you can go to any cabin and start Great. there. Uh, and then at the end of the tour, as I said, it's from one to five. Okay, that's Elkton, Tennessee. <laughs> uh, and then at five fifteen, we're going to have a just an old fashioned. Carol, Christmas Carol sing along at our historic Methodist church right uh -huh. there in Elkton. It's a beautiful church, perfect acoustics, we're told, but that's going to kind of put the icing on oh. the cake for the day. And weather the, should be beautiful for it that, is, too. It's be going nice. to be beautiful. It truly yeah. is. So. Well, well, tell us where, okay, I know we have several pictures, and Brad, if you'll just scroll through those slowly so people can, there's okay. one of them right okay. there. Do you want to tell us a little bit? the Amit Cabin. This was built okay. in the early 1800s, and it has been moved from one, the location where it originally was, mm -hmm. but it's, it's a, a very primitive cabin, uh, but one that you can see the logs. You can also see the craftsmanship that they built that they used back during that time. So that's the Amit cabin and it's uh, on Pisgah Road. That's the Smith cabin. That's where the tour officially starts. That's where they'll, and there's going to be refreshments, sir, with your <laughs> cheese. I mean, and slicing the, the cheese. She always has that there. Uh, so that's the Smith cabin. It's located right there in Elkton, where 273. Now, that's the Pfeiffer cabin. This is one of our oldest cabins that, uh, that started out as just one room, 18 by 20. The logs huh. are huge. But then you kind of see on the back side, they did something back in those days it was called a lean-to and they okay. would build a lean-to and usually then that's where they went um, their kitchen was later Interesting. so but that that is very now when people walk in I'm sorry to interrupt oh, go when no, people are in go back to that other shot Brad please when people are in these cabins are yes. they warm are there heaters going or okay. fires okay in this one there will be the Smith cabin that you just saw mm -hmm. yes there's going to be some electric heat to kind of keep you warm okay. but I didn't tell something about that Smith cabin and that it was reconstructed from two corn cribs so yes you're going to be able to actually look down and see cracks in the floor, okay. which was so typical, Glory, back right. in those days. Of, uh, and you could sweep. You could sweep Just your debris. Sweep your debris through, down. Through, <laughs> down. And there was usually chickens. Remember, there were you. Oh, no, wow. you wouldn't remember. No, I wouldn't. But there's, <laughs> no, Thank but you there's usually that. chickens that would be under the under the cabins, and and so that was just something that. Well, that's just the way people live. So wow. that cabin will be a little uh, cool, but okay. we try to make it as. But its temperature should be in uh, mid 50s. Oh so yes, it should be it's, very it's nice going to be beautiful as All well. All right, I know we have uh, a fourth one here. Okay. Let's see what, oh, this is the Pisgah Church. Now, that is just, oh, about a half a mile from that Amit cabin that you just saw. Uh -huh. But since we were so close, we could not pass up this church. This is one of the early, early churches in Giles County in the early 1800s. And that's where, that's okay, uh, that's where uh, some revivals, some okay. really famous revivals started. So it is one of our early historic churches, and we just wanted to let that be kind of a, you know, yeah, added add attraction to, to that. Okay. Okay, now this is an interesting one here. This one is, is owned by uh, Laventa uh, family, and that you see is a Victorian style home now, but Total? it actually started out as a 20 by 20 one room cabin. You should see those logs. They're 18 to 20 inches wide. Oh, wow. They are huge. Everything in that house mm -hmm. is original, even the fireplace, the stones that were there. Now, yes, it was added on to, and as you see, um, you know, remodeled, so right. to speak, in the early 1900s. But the couple that is there now, you, you've just got to see this cabin. She is a professional decorator. Okay. Uh, been in so New York. It's be yes, beautiful. but it is a dollhouse. Also, they have added out in the front a true picket fence, okay. and within that enclosed area, uh, there's an English garden that's just precious. He took the old. Uh, 
uh, smokehouse mm -hmm. and turned that into his tool house, but he added a front porch that is the most inviting thing that you've <laughs> ever seen. So well, it looks it interesting. It does, and I think we have one last one. Oh. Let's see what that is. Oh, Look that's the Judy Bond. Yes. Now this was an. It's still very original. She did enclose the dog trot, and a lot of people will know what a dog trot. That had a dog trot through it, but. Getting to this cabin, again, now this cabin was built in around 1832, we think. Okay. Uh, but getting to this cabin is, is um, a Petty Branch Road. Uh, you're going to go through a tunnel, uh, an actual hand-hewn type tunnel. Really? Uh, the limestone stones that are there, all hand-hewn. So getting to the cabin is going to be interesting an interesting enough. drive as, as well. You're going to enjoy it. It's, it's very good. Uh, huh. But that is that is original. Well, that it is. looks like it's definitely going to be interesting it this Sunday, be. one o'clock. One o'clock, okay. one o'clock, and the price of the tickets are ten dollars per ticket. Okay. Three for twenty-five. Anybody that's fifteen or under uh, get in free okay. with a paid adult. Great. So it's and so that way bring your kids, teach them something, absolutely. let them see a little history. Oh, it is. It'll be very interesting, and uh, the proceeds go to the Elkton Historical Society. I am okay. the president. President of the Elkton Historical Society, and this is one of our fundraisers uh, because we do give back to the community. That's what it's all about. Do you usually have six homes to tour or cabins to tour? Normally, or is this the most? We, yes, from five to six. Okay. And uh, so we've we've got some added attractions this time too. Correct. Also, the Pfeiffer cabin that you saw. Uh, they also mm -hmm. own uh, the Pit Barbecue okay. there at uh, Bryson, which is the way you're going to go mm -hmm. to go to the Pfeiffer cabin. Uh, Bill and uh, Kristen Pfeiffer own that. And so if you have time, you can stop by their Pit Barbecue and, and actually get a have discount. Have a good lunch. So All it's, right. it's very good. Now, where do people need to pick up their tickets? Okay, they can pick them up at the Smith Cabin. Oh, at Elkton City Hall, okay. uh, it before before there, so then pick them up at Elkton City okay. Hall or in Pulaski at the okay. tourism office on the north side okay. of the square. All right, well, Pulaski. thank you, Ms. Thompson. That was very thank interesting. You. And for those of you who don't get to go tour those cabins, it was nice to see the photos this morning yes. and get to hear yes. all the history. Thank right. you very much for that. Thank you. All right, we're thank headed over to Jamie in the kitchen, and we've got to talk about a parade. JC.